What's going on simplifiers? Welcome back to Dennis Simplifies. In today's video, we'll be writing a student grading system in Java. As usual, we'll be writing the algorithm and then we'll use the algorithm to model our code in Java. So, let's simplify. Develop a Java program for a grading system that satisfies the following requirements. One, requirement for passing an exam is that Student must pass the exam by a score of 25 or more and must also pass the assessment by 15 or more to get a certificate. 2. If a student scores a total grade of 39, fold grading components, that is, if only a student scores exam 25 and assessment 14 totaling 39, or exam 24 and assessment 15 totaling 39, the student is condoned. 3. If a student satisfies requirement 1 or requirement 2 and have paid their fees in full, where fee is 100, they are issued with a, with a certificate. 4. A student is deemed to have failed if he or she does not meet requirement 1 or requirement 2. However, your program should inform a student which component he or she passed or failed. Where a student fail both components, he or she is repeated. To the algorithm. We are going to take the score input from the user. So we say input exam score input assessment score and also we ask the user to input the amount of fees paid now to know the total grade we are going to create a variable called total grade which will store the sum of the exam score and the assessment score so we say total grade equals exam score plus assessment score from the question a student must pass the exam by a score of 25 or more and must also pass the assessment by 15 or more to get a certificate. The second requirement was that if a student score a total grade of 39 for both grading components, the student must be condoned. So we say, if exam score is greater than or equal to 25, and assessment score is greater than or equal to 15, or total grade is greater than or equal to 39, then now, if a student satisfy requirement 1 or requirement 2 and have paid their fees in full, they are issued with a certificate. So we say, if fee equals equals 100, then print the total grade in percentage, passed, fees paid, and certificates awarded. Else, now this else goes with the if for fees, meaning if the condition there is false or the fees is not equal to 100, then print total grade in percentage, passed, fees not fully paid, and then no certificate yet. Now, we say and if. Now, we say else. This else goes with the first if statement, meaning if the condition there is false, then we print the total grade failed. That means the total grade in percentage failed, no certificate, and then repeated. Alright friends, that's it for the algorithm. Let's take a look at our code in Java. But before that, I will encourage you to pause the video, give it a like, and subscribe. Now to our code in Java. I import the Java utility scanner. Since I'll be taking input from the user, then I declare a public class called main as my entry point. Inside my main class, I declare a method called public static void main, and inside its parameters, I declare a string array as an argument. Note that the name of my class is Pascal Casing Main, capital M A I N, and the name of my method or function is camel casing main small m a i n again public is an is an uh, is a access specifier meaning when it's public any other class or function can access this function and it's static because it cannot be changed now we also have void here because this function is not going to retain any value and then the name main Alright, now inside my function, 
since I'll be taking inputs from the user via the terminal, I declare an object scanner of the class scanner. And since it's via the terminal, I'll use system in, meaning I'm taking my input from the system or from the terminal. Now, I display to the user, enter your exam score. Now, the moment the user enters a value via the terminal, I am going to scan the terminal for an integer value and then store the integer value in a variable called exam score. Now, I'm going to do the same for the assessment score and then the fees. Meaning, after I display to the user to enter a value for the assessment score, I'm going to scan the terminal for an integer value and then store it in assessment score. The same thing for the fees. The moment the user inputs a value for the fees, I'm going to scan the terminal for an integer value and then store that value in fees as the fee. Next, I will declare or I'm going to create a variable called total grade where I'll store the sum of the exam score and assessment score. From there, I'll set my if statements with the conditions that exam score is greater than or equal to 25 and assessment score is greater than or equal to 15 or total grade is greater than or equal to 39. If these conditions are met and that if the students paid the, the fees in full, that is 100, then I should print the total grade in percentage, passed, fees paid, and certificates awarded. Else, I will print the total grade in percentage, passed, fees not fully paid, and no certificate yet. Else, this else goes with the first if, meaning if the conditions there are false or not met, then I will print total grade in percentage, failed, no certificate, and repeated. So we are done with our code in Java. Now let's run our code and see what happens. Now inside my terminal, I entered 24 for exam score, 15 for assessment score, and 100 for fees. And it says that 39% I passed. I've paid my fees and then I'm going to get a certificate. Again, I entered 34 for my exam score, 45 for assessment score, and in the fees, I've only made part payment, that is 78. So it says 79% passed, fees not fully paid, and then I'm getting no certificate since I've not paid my fees in full. And then the last one, exam score, I scored 12, assessment 12, but I have fully paid my fees. So you see that 24% I have failed. I'm getting no certificate and then I'm going to be repeated. Alright friends, that's it for this video. Show some love by hitting the like and subscribe button. Until next time, a party. What's going on Simplify?